this uh, entire thing came about, uh, some of you might know I'm very proud to be uh, one of the Macomb representatives on uh, the uh, Detroit Zoo Board, uh, which of course is uh, such a fantastic uh, jewel for our entire region and our state. Uh, but they have, as you know, a beautiful, beautiful uh, landscaped campus there, and they're always doing all kinds of uh, landscaping and new trees and everything there. And I happened to be uh, aware that they wanted to uh, do uh, some tree planting out into the uh, Tri-County area here. Raise my hand, and because we have plenty of spots, of course, with Macomb County really being a leader, I think, in the, uh, in the region and in the country, quite frankly, with its greening of Macomb. And so... Um, we thought about uh, doing something right at this site. We had the zoo come out. We've been working on this. And uh, this is actually about a $30,000 project, uh, all told, of which half of the funds are coming from the Detroit Zoo, and the other half are coming from the Clinton River Spillway Authority. There's an authority that handles this uh, spillway, which comes off the Clinton River, of course. The spillway is a sort of an engineering marvel uh, and is designed so that uh, in a heavy rain, uh, Clinton Township, the city of Mount Clemens and Harrison Township does not flood. So we have, I think, over 50, 50 or 55 trees, different species that we are going to plant here today. And, uh, you know, when we think about all of the kinds of things that we need to do for stormwater management, as a public works commissioner, I think a lot about stormwater management, particularly after this, this last uh, summer when we saw all the flooding that was happening. And uh, we, I think we all recognize that was sort of a vivid demonstration of why we need to have more green infrastructure, why it's so important for us uh, to plant trees and the amount of absorption that happens just on, with one tree. It's all hands on deck when it comes to being good stewards of the environment. So, and you can certainly see we got a lot of good hands out here to be on deck to, uh, to help us with our planting today. Credit to Candace and the Zoological Authority for obviously thinking about Macomb County when it comes to planting trees. Uh, as, as Candace had mentioned, here in Macomb County, that's been an initiative in our planning department. I've got to give them a lot of credit. They do incredible work on behalf of businesses in and around Macomb County for the 27 municipalities that make up Macomb County. But they're always forward thinking and looking at other opportunities. And one of those things they pushed forward was this blue economy and our greening or regreening of Macomb County. Uh, Jer Jerry Zant Santoro, many of you may know him. He's one of those guys, environmental guys. He really gets into it. But the partnership we've had with our um, public works department over the past couple of years with Candace Miller and her staff has been absolutely incredible. And so for her to say, you know what, we're looking at figuring out what are the environmentally friendly things we're doing, as opposed to just making sure the one -off runoff and the water uh, sewer separations are taken care of, which she's doing a fabulous job with, making sure that we're also partnering with the county to deal with this regreening or, if you will, reliefing Macomb County. Uh, I just want to give you a quick, uh, quick factoid that um, I actually stole this from my boss, so I won't say that that is me, but uh, the average tree absorbs 48 pounds of carbon dioxide, and that's one of the purposes, one of the main purposes of planting these trees, and it also absorbs 1,600 gallons of water. Um, so. 54, imagine some of the things that we can do. At the Detroit Zoo, we have a goal of planting 2,000 trees this year, and this is a part of our efforts to plant. So um, obviously, you guys are all dedicated here um, to be out here, and I'd like to recognize the Detroit Zoo team over here that's also putting some shovels in the ground. But uh, once again, thank you for having the Detroit Zoological Society here, and um, enjoy the day, and bring your kids, your family back here, take the pictures where the trees lie today and then come back 10 years later and see the efforts of uh, what you've done today. Thank you. Uh, so thank you to the zoo. Thank you to everybody who supports us. A huge thanks to Harrison Township staff. Uh, this is a lot easier because we got holes dug and the trees are already sitting there. They went and picked up all the zoo poo and delivered that, uh, you know, so uh, the real appreciation is all of the staff that uh, worked uh, to get this done so that our jobs will be easier. So. Thank you. That's the message I have. Thank you to everybody here and thank you to everybody that made this happen. And so we love our trees. They're turning up beautiful shades of color right now. Yesterday when the sun came out, it was beautiful orange and somebody sent me a, a picture of the beautiful orange tree that I was, I didn't see because I was drinking my coffee looking out the other window. So we do appreciate our trees. We appreciate the roots that hold the ground together that will help with the uh, water situation. And I'm not going to say anything more because we need to get to work. Thank you all for being here, and I'm glad that Candace invited me to speak. Most of our plantings are in southern Michigan, but we have planted every, in every county. Um, 
this is the kind of thing that uh, is what accomplishes a lot for the environment and the communities. And thank you to the Harrison Township and the Macomb County, Detroit Zoo, and all of our volunteers. And we'll get these trees planted today. So we just really appreciate all of the volunteers that have come out here today. And, uh, and thank you all so much. Mm -hmm.